Hello everyone, who's excited to get a little bit crazy? <gasps> no, not you, Junkrat. I'm talking about custom settings because we are getting some new ones and they're very much hinting at adding a whole new world. A new fantastic place to be. I'm happy and filled with glee. You see, settings feel built for me. You piece a report to me quickly. If you want the best modes real easy, like one and two is three. <laughs> awful rapping skills aside <laughs> thanks for suffering through that and still being here let me tattle at you what i'm talking about see this is a personal thing for me it might not be a popular opinion but i'd be surprised if a number of you don't share it but i think it's safe to say that as a whole it's nice to feel and this is going to sound super cheesy at the beginning special when you're playing a game, especially one that involves other people, right? Because, for example, when you're playing through a single-player game, you are the protagonist. There's no one else getting into your business. There's no one else cramping your style, as it were. You feel like the hero, and you've got that going for you. Obviously, it differs by game, theme, and style, but you know what I'm saying, right? You are the guy. And if you were playing something like Witcher, and there was 50 Geralts running around, you'd feel a little bit like, oh, okay. And that might give you a hint of what I'm talking about. My biggest gripe with Overwatch has always been, and it's my biggest one because it's been consistently there. There's been things that have overtaken it and spiked up, but this has always existed in the background. I, as a player in a class-based game, multiplayer game, hate when the enemy team can be the same hero as me. I detested it in LOL, and I don't like it in Overwatch. And I think a big part of that does stem from what I was just touching upon, right? This is a hugely character-given game. People love the Overwatch heroes. You love playing as your favorites. You like getting into their mindset, their playstyle, and laying waste to people with them on the battlefield, almost like a high-five hero I'm playing. Yeah, we did it! Or even just really like, I am the Reaper. If you're feeling a bit that way, I'm not gonna judge you in public. I am. Nobody should think you're the Reaper, you weirdo. But if I am then seeing another one on the enemy team, well, it immediately makes everything I do, and I'm going to use the word again, less special. Because look, I can phrase it in a simple sentence. You don't want to be a tracer. You want to be the tracer in the game. And that, I think, is a key distinction, and one thing Overwatch just cannot capitalize on. Dota is so cool to me because every game of 5v5 is 10 unique heroes, and that's fantastic. By definition, it broadens the amount of played because you have to at least see 10 per game, as opposed to the usual 5 clones on each side with maybe a wild card that most high-end matches devolve into, and ends up resulting in a really limiting and stifling meta that you can get very bored of very quickly. Now, I know what you're saying. Number one, how does this relate to custom sayings? Number two, it's Overwatch. You're supposed to be able to switch heroes, and if you can't switch to someone the enemy's got, if they just pick all the good ones, then you're screwed, right? And yeah, that is entirely true. And this right here is where the custom settings come in, and it's going to answer both points. The arcade and the custom settings in particular, both of them have the ability to do something very unique within Overwatch and be a almost secret testing ground for potential modes that could become staples in the future. If they added a custom setting that was simply, you cannot pick a hero that is already in-game, 
yeah, that sucks for people who load slowly and have, like, the best heroes or their hero sniped. Sure, but that can still happen by your own allies, right? When you're not playing as a full-on team super competitively, it happens. You get who you wanted to play, who you're good at sniped by your teammates constantly. Yes, it'll happen more often because the enemies are involved, but the principle has always been there. If you could enable that setting, and inherently it doesn't matter if that happens because it's a custom setting, you'd be doing this just for fun, but if that setting was there, you could suddenly very easily measure the amount of people participating with it, the amount of interest in it, and hell, even add it to the arcade if it works well in custom lobbies as 12-player lockout mode. I would love 12-player lockout mode. How many of you would be super into an arcade mode that was 12-player lockout, right? That you could only pick heroes that don't exist in the game. How interesting of an experiment that would be. Overwatch's competitive scene suffers the most from tiny hero pool syndrome, where only five-ish heroes are truly good at the same time. If everyone suddenly had to expand their pool by a little bit because you had to see at least 12 out of the 26 now heroes in game at all times, I mean that instantly over doubles the variety of the meta at the flick of a switch. But again, in an actual competitive game, you have to the answer the problem of who gets to pick what when. Because you can't have a free-for-all in competitive, because that's not fair on people who load slowly, and it's very difficult to do it. So what if you had a setting, or again, you could put this in the arcade if it works well in custom settings, you literally start... The first person is chosen randomly, they get 15 seconds. This begins when everyone is loaded in, so there's no unfairness there. You get just 15 seconds, pick a hero, alright? You're done. You get randomed if you don't, or you don't even pick one, or you can just pick from the remainder when everything's done, whatever. But you yourself get 15 seconds to pick a hero while no one else can, and that just happens. It's fast-paced, there's no pausing, there's not enough time to discuss that much, you just gotta go for it. You gotta either pre-plan or come up with the strategy in the moment. Then random person on enemy team gets 15 seconds, and that goes back and forth. Hell, you could reduce it to 10, to 5, to make it really snappy, really punchy. Make it as fast-paced as the game itself. A quick brainstorm deploying of your heroes. So everyone on the team got 5 seconds each. That's not a huge amount of time, but it just goes back and forth quickly. Everyone picks a hero. Therefore, one team guaranteed cannot get a full lineup of the air quotes best heroes. And you might start forced to be doing unconventional things because you you can't play dive when the enemy team has two out of the four heroes that are required, air quotes, to make dive work. Yes, this comes with, again, another myriad of problems. How that's not a load of time, that might be unfun, it's too much pressure, yada, yada, yada. And I totally accept that. I am in no means saying, oh, competitive should be this. Competitive is how it is, and it works, and every- well, I say everyone enjoys it. It's the worst season ever! Toxicity is rampant! Blizzard, why won't you do anything? I refuse to play this game until an hour later after I've calmed down. Boo! As you get every single season, but you know, you just tune out the mob mentality, okay? It's, you know, fine for most people. There are definitely issues and definitely, admittedly, a lot of toxicity that does need dealing with. It's still rampant and it's still really bad, but that's a topic for another video. But I don't want to mess with that, you know? It's how it is now, for better or for worse. But again, with stuff that I've touched on in the past, there's no inherent disadvantage in Overwatch with how varied of a game it's becoming of adding other ranked options to the game. Ranked Lucio Ball, despite me not really liking it, was still an absolutely lovely breath of fresh air because it was, I want to play competitive ish, you know, a competitive game, I want to get into the mindset of I want to win in Overwatch, but I don't want it to be the usual competitive mode, right? So what if there was just a permanent fixed mode of competitive, there's a rating, 12 player lockout, 5 seconds to choose a hero at the start, rapid fire, that mode is how it is, and that had a competitive rating tied to it, fine, don't play it at tournaments, don't make it the official competitive mode, but let us have a ladder in it within our own game and play 
that if you enjoy it, and that can come about because of custom settings. There has been a post recently, which partly inspired this, where someone was listing stuff they'd love to see, they want individual ability duration like infinite deflect, I've talked about that before, a little bit more precise way of adjusting settings, again, thing I've talked about, just raw percents isn't good, we need numbers, I shouldn't have to do some quick maths in order to work out exactly what I want, and you know, just very specific ones, make projectile speed go lower as well as higher, and you know, a lot of things just need the reverse adding to them, but one thing that they did want was things like officially supported toggle on gun game mode, right, a setting uh, that when you get a kill, forces you to change character, something like that, right? And they suggested quite a few of them. And instead of just dismissing them out of hands, Mr. Kaplan himself, praise be, was like, yeah, that's actually a really cool idea, you know? We're adding a load of new custom game rules, and, you know, we like what you're peddling. And there's a lot of support in the thread of, yeah, just go wacky with custom settings, just add stuff, just add toggles and modes and things we can play with. Who cares if it works or doesn't work? work because it's just more tools for the player to use and I am a whole heartedly behind that and when you get right down to it if you had the capability and the power in the custom settings menu to create a game mode that is along the lines of 12 player lockout even if it doesn't have perhaps the actual fair choosing that you would need to make it fully competitive and they see that that is blowing up on the custom game list thousands upon thousands of players are spending so much time playing what is advertised as again let's just for the sake of argument 12 player lockout if you're blizzard and you see that you start thinking huh would that go over well if we added that as a supported mode even if it's just an arcade mode in rotation right you don't ignore that blizzard aren't stupid they will capitalize on super popular custom game modes they're not going to let the next daughter slip by them again so the more tools they throw at us the more established modes because it's still in its infancy there isn't exactly a list of you go on the custom game list and you will see daughter you will see rpg you will see tower defense you will We'll see Lane Wars, you know, the, the regular list that you got on Warcraft 3, that's not established yet. It's still going to become a thing. So if you give players the tools and you get this game mode as an established, hugely popular thing, there is every chance Blizzard actually implement it, and that's what's exciting. That's why it's so cool to see them liking this list of suggestions and saying that they're adding more and more custom game modes, some of them getting a little bit wilder, and it might actually actually from the player's creativity making those modes get its way upwards and become something more officially and the idea that one of my true loves in games like these creating my own modes might eventually go towards giving me a way to play the game air quotes properly but in a way I would love i.e. unique heroes across both teams and give me those daughter feels that's such a cool one-two combo that I absolutely adore the notion of happening and it is entirely realistic possible and you could even argue as far as likely and that is super exciting to me it really really is, is and it's just something i absolutely had to talk about it really really is so let me know your thoughts on that let me know if that's the kind of thing you would love all right i just want to know essentially would you play 12 player lockout all right maybe not with the way of picking that i suggested how would you do the picking but would you like that would you like a game mode that forces at least 12 heroes a game for some forced variety to what the meta of that would be because you cannot just have dive versus dive when the genji and winston are taken by the other team it just can't happen you've got to come up with a way around that granted if five heroes are just strictly better than all of the others power wise so they'll just stomp any team that doesn't have those five you have a problem but the game isn't that imbalanced no matter how much people decide that it is so yeah very much let me know how you're liking that one and it's just so cool thinking about the future of overwatch in that respect it absolutely is <sighs> so much potential 
Thanks for watching, listening, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, share it around, it really helps guys, and it really helps, and thank you to everyone that supports me on Patreon, it really is keeping the channel going with how busted YouTube is at the moment, and it means a lot, all the links in the description if you want to get involved with that, but by no means feel compelled. My name has been Rage, I'll see you soon. A good boy. Rage Gaming with the video flow, shenanigans and overwatch And his fans all know that every single thumbnail that this man makes Without fail makes you do a double take Catching your attention with every verse See, say that you need healing but you're at his mercy Get it? Cause it's a pun on his channel, that's one of the better ones Widow is venomous, I see no end to this Cataclysm's imminent when rage is in his element Pandemonium is not familiar with irrelevance Maximum Genji beam, oh so elegant Joke so funny causing you to cry Editing is quality as the noon is high Yo, concussion man, shoot to the sky Cap it all off with a goodbye